AJ with Garden State Greens and Generation Gym. I think the uh, garden is, is really at its peak right now, and so I just wanted to capture everything before some of these, you know, vines get powdery mildew and all that. So um, here's a paprika. I got better ones of that, and a Jupiter pepper, some monkey face peppers. Kind of crazy looking. Uh, just some volunteer tomatoes. I think these are uh, pineapple hot peppers, ahi peppers. And of course we've got some habaneros and dill coming up in here. Some more just uh, paste tomatoes, uh, Austrian, or no, Hungarian, Italian. This we just picked full of peppers. I think there's still one in there. Yep. So we'll just have to uh, wait for some more. These are the honeycomb cherry tomatoes. I have a crazy huge one on the other side of this tunnel. Zucchini plant. It's pretty spent. And uh, uh, this is a 4th of July early tomato. It took a while, but they're very nice. Self-sown sunflower. And some zucchini. I think this is a pumpkin. It's like a mystery seed. I wasn't sure what I had. This is orange dew. It's like a cantaloupe honeydew situation. So we got a couple of those. And I do have a, a lot of orange sweet potato. So those vines come up out of the bed too. Uh, Syrian pole bean. A lot of them are drying for shelling. And then the younger ones we can eat. And then I still have some Boston pickling cucumbers. And they're pretty much on their way out. So that's why I figured I'd have one more harvest. And I wanted to capture this awesome tunnel. We were using uh, cattle panels, two of them, 11 by something. And then um, I just found a smaller wire one to put them together and it allowed me to keep the sides open. So we have access to the bed, right? Um, and these are uh, corrugated steel roofing panels, just with wood frames. Um, here we have a bunch of um, cayenne peppers. And I got better shots of those somewhere else. Outside the tunnel on this side, we've got some uh, big uh, beefsteak tomatoes. I think these are um, purple crim when they color up. Oh boy, I gotta pull those off, geez. And we've got some uh, stripy ones down here. This one's pretty cool. Got a dog in that corner. Here's more of the, the chili peppers. This is like a, almost like a cross between a paprika and a dragon cayenne. It just started developing in the garden. So we'll see. And then here's some good, uh, I think these are purple bumblebee cherry tomatoes that have self-sown from a while back. This bed here has watermelon along the back that we'll go see. Here's that giant, this is all one honeycomb uh, cherry tomato, these guys. And we just picked this actually, but there you can still see there's a ton of them on there. And this thing's already, you know, six feet, seven feet. so. It's mid-August right now, cucumber coming over. And then down here, more Jupiter peppers. Yeah, oh boy, yeah, we gotta pick those. And some old sage, and uh, I think some other monkey peppers. These husky cherry tomatoes are just finally coming in, uh, coloring in rather. And uh, another pepper, I don't know what it is. I have some cana lilies, they grow all the way through the back here. So they're always creeping over. This uh, sweet potato here is sweating a little bit, but this is actually purple sweet potato up here, or down there. You know what I mean? Then we've got more peppers over here. I don't remember which one. Might be the luck dragon ones. Some sunflowers over by that barrel. We have flowers in the front, but they're kind of past. This was another volunteer. A lot of tomatoes. This bed along the back has spaghetti squash. We'll go in here real quick. So, whoop. spaghetti squashes. So you can see the powdery mildew starting to come in. I'm not going to fight this thing. I'm just, you know, I got plenty on here. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll trim it down and then we'll take what we got. These are cherry red peppers. They are cool looking. First year growing these. And then I think these guys are, oh, monkey face. Hello. Some more monkey face peppers. So uh, these, uh, some of the trellis is like bamboo. Some of it's just regular sticks. But, you know, when it gets... When it gets too brittle, we'll just chip it and we'll put it back in the bed. More sweet potato flowers and squash coming up the top. This bad boy right here, it's probably 20 pounds already. It's a Charleston Gray watermelon. 
Oh, here's some of that paprika. So there's a, there's, I'll go around the other side, but we got a ton of paprika back here that we ground up. There's another watermelon in here. And I just picked one over here. This guy, I couldn't even get a sock around it. I had to use a piece of fencing. This thing is, I mean, enormous. I don't know why I grew them up there. It's fun though. Here's a strawberry bed. You got a cucumber and a squash back there, but this was all just planted in the front, you know, opens of the openings of the blocks and it spread pretty quick. So we had a great harvest all through the season. We're just uh, trimming it back now. On the back end of the tunnel bed, on one of the tunnel beds, here's those peppers I was talking about. So much bigger than regular cayenne dragon peppers. Um, but still have that bite, so it's pretty cool. So these are the plants, and I've got plans for them. Here's some sauce tomatoes, um, paste tomatoes. And got a lot, of, a lot of good beans coming up in here. Oh, here's a good shot of the paprika back in this bed. It's kind of, I, I, they're really overripe at this point. I should have picked them, but you know how it gets this time of year. You... All of a sudden, everything's just breaking out everywhere. A lot of marigolds in the mix. Yeah, we got some good cucumbers still on this plant. Um, and that's really it. So that's what I got growing on right now in mid-August. And it's going to change soon, as all things do. And I wanted to capture it now. Cool. This thing is thorny.